Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome. It's good to have you. And our topic for you today, it's four things that gym owners can do when nothing is going their way. Four things that gym owners can do when nothing is going their way. And so before we get into our topic today, just a quick reminder, you know, my focus, my mission here in the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can, you know, across the globe. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel. So if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then for you folks who are looking to open a new gym, you need funding, you have an existing operation, you need funding, you know, we can help provide funding for up to $400,000 in funding. It's unsecured. There's no restrictions on use. Uh, the basic requirement is a minimum 680 credit score in all three credit bureaus, uh, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, and a minimum income of 50000 per year each of the two previous years. You know, check out the links below under financing and funding for additional information on this and for additional, wa additional ways uh, that we can help with funding. And so with that said, let's get into our topic here. And it's four things gym owners can do when nothing is going their way. Four things gym owners can do when nothing is going their way. And for you folks that may not be a gym owner, and if you're a salesperson, if you're a manager, you're a director, a lot of these same things can still apply. Okay, so listen up and see if this can be a benefit to you. So number one is, you know, I, I kind of put this title in here, work hard on one meaningful project. Okay, what you want to do when things aren't really going your way, you want to subtract, you want to simplify and so when we go into a gym turnaround, okay, certainly that's the height of things not going your way, right? Okay, to get that thing back on track. And what's the very first thing we do? We look to simplify the operation. So if things are not going your way, how can you simplify this? Because one, one of the common errors, common mistakes, is that the business job description even, but the business becomes too complicated, becomes too overwhelming. You want to look to simplify. So how can you go about simplifying it? You know, can you use more technology to automate, you know, more repeated tasks? Can you delegate more? Are there programs that just aren't producing that maybe you can eliminate? But focus on one meaningful project. Usually that meaningful, meaningful project is going to be generating new sales, okay, new revenue. It's normally what it's going to be. Um, but then how do you simplify everything around it? So look at simplification. Okay. When in doubt, subtract. Um, number two, find gratitude, find gratitude. Here's what I mean. Look for the good, look for the good. And you can do this in team meetings. You can do it yourself, but revisit success stories. You know, one of the things that I find when things just aren't going our way, there's a tendency just that we revisit, oh, this went bad, this didn't work, this didn't work, oh, I'm sure that won't work. We start to breathe life into a lot of this. But revisit success stories and things that you made happen, maybe sometimes when you didn't think it would. You want to start breathing life into some of that because some, sometimes when things aren't going our way, we start looking the wrong direction and indeed we start to find some of that. Um, Number three on uh, my list here of uh, you know, four things that gym owners can do and nothing's going their way, double down on your fitness. Double down on your fitness. And here's what I really mean here is protect your most valuable asset. And your most valuable asset is you. Okay? So, you know, if you're a runner, make sure you're still doing that morning run. If you like to do that morning weight routine, make sure you still do it. Don't stop doing it. You know, don't get in the habit of, you know, going through drive through and getting food every day. Make sure you continue, you know, more of a healthy eating or whatever it is you've been doing. Make sure you're doing all of this, but double down on the fitness. Take care of your most valuable asset. Are you getting plenty of sleep? Are you associating with people that are positive and uplifting and supportive? Or are you su uh, surrounding yourself with folks that are negative and wondering how you're going to figure this out? Okay, Make sure you really double down on your fitness. Make sure you really double down on taking care of your number one asset. 
And then number four, of uh, four things that gym owners can do when nothing seems to be going their way, get off your island. Get off your island. Here's what I mean. One of the things that I find with many, many independent gym owners, we get on an island. In other words, we get isolated. We get isolated. We've got no one we can talk to, no one we can trust, no one that kind of knows what's happening, okay? And it can cause us to do a couple things. We can start spending lots of money on trial and error to see if something works. That can be incredibly expensive and may not work. And number two, we, we get kind of paralyzed. We don't do anything. And that certainly won't work, okay? So you, you've got to get off that island. You can't be isolated. You've got to find people that you can trust and people you can talk to. These are things that we can help with. Or you may have attorneys or accountants or other mentors that you can work with. I know when I was a gym owner, you know, you know, I spend time, you know, networking with gym owners all across the country looking for, hey, I'm looking for one solution. And I'm calling around and looking around and getting introductions and, you know, until I found what I needed. You know, you can use this channel for this. You know, you may have other resources. Um, you know, we can even, you know, potentially help with some of that. But get off the island. Don't be isolated. It's one of the worst things you can do. So four things that gym owners can do when nothing is going your way. Take a look at these. These things can make a dramatic improvement. These are all key things that we start to implement when we get involved in a gym turnaround. Okay, And even a lot of these, if you're in membership sales and management, a lot of this can pertain to you as well. So folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. I appreciate you being here on the channel today. Uh, if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, you know, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Uh, again, to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then, and again, for you folks that are looking to open a new gym, you need funding, uh, you have an existing operation, you need funding, you know, we can help with funding up to $400,000. Uh, it's unsecured. There's no restrictions on use. Uh, you know, basic qualification is a 680 credit score or better in all three credit bureaus. Minimum income of 50000 per year each of the two previous years. And, uh, you know, that'll get you on your way to getting funding and helping to grow your business. Uh, check out the links below under financing and funding. We do have several different options and additional information on how you can potentially qualify and get the funding you need to grow your business. So with all that said, again, I appreciate you being here and we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.